In this video, I'm going to go over how to perform the Certifier 912 test in 121 calibration. The first thing you will want to do is grab the service airline and connect the 50CI canister to the glad hand end. Next, plug the hub power cable into the 8 port hub. Make sure that the female and male pins match up. Once the pins are matched up, twist the hub connection clockwise until you hear a click. After you plug the power cable in, grab a 15 foot sensor and plug it into port 1 of the hub. The big notch on the connector goes toward the top. Now plug the other end of the sensor into the quick disconnect of the 50CI canister. Last thing you're going to want to do is block off the emergency airline. Now you're ready to set up the software for testing. Now that the tester is ready to be self-tested, open up the Certifier 912 software on the desktop of the computer. Once the software opens, select the Vehicle Info tab at the top of the screen. In the Serial Number section, enter Cal or Calibration along with the date. I will be using Calibration along with today's date, which would be 6-21-16. Next, enter the name of the person who is operating the machine. We do not need to select a vehicle type for the self-test in 121 calibration. Click on the main test tab, check the auto 121 timing box, and hit auto test. The 121 timing test will start and it should take about a minute and 21 seconds. This test is ensuring that the machine is properly calibrated to run the 121 timing test for your trailer or dolly. After the test is finished, go to the Hub tab and you will see at the top your set and release times. The set time should be around 0 .350 and the release time should be around 0 .700, give or take 0 .005 accepted. If you need to make any adjustments to the timing to get it within specs, look inside the tester and find the two needle valves toward the back of the tester. The needle valve closest to the computer is the release valve and the one farther in the tester is the set valve. If you need to increase the time, turn in the valve that needs adjustments clockwise as shown in this video. If however you need to decrease the time, turn in the valve that needs adjustments counterclockwise as I have also shown in this video. Once your timing is within the specified timing limits, you can select the Reports tab at the top of the software. Here you will see your 121 timing results along with the VIN number that you inputted earlier. When ready, click the Save tab on the bottom right of the software. This will clear the screen. Next, close down the Certifier 912 software and open the Reports folder on the desktop. You can now open the file that you saved by finding the date that the test was done on. This will open the report and allow you to print the file if needed for your records. Thank you for watching the Light Checks training video for how to perform the Certifier 912 self test in 121 calibration. If you have any questions, please call 800 343 8579.